How's it going, lads? Phil Potter here, and welcome to the 11th episode of Road to a Better Bollocks FC, Moroccan style. And to add to that Moroccan style, that Moroccan fever, we signed Medi Carcela Gonzalez at the start of this episode in a 4 5 1, and he's a nice little silver Moroccan. So I know people wanted me to buy a few more Ro Moroccans, and this man was highly wanted, so I did get him. Uh, believe it or not, he was actually originally born in Belgium, and he now plays for, for Morocco. So it's a nice little fact to start off today. We also bought a 4 5 1 formation card for El Ahmadi. Uh, or as I like to say El um, so you know hallelujah finally he is in the right formation it took me time with that one <laughs> but uh, anyway yeah we started off this episode by having a little gold cup run before we properly get into division one you know uh, it's, it's almost uh, treating this as like pre-season almost just testing shit out and Carcelo Gonzalez almost goes a beautiful goal on his debut the whole link up play and everything was brilliant and as you can see I started off this game very fucking strong and you won't believe the final score that's all I'll say <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, very unlucky here as you can tell Joe Hart even looks like a bleeding Muppet and I'm sure he's never looked like a bleeding Muppet in any sort of head and shoulders ad before if you know what I mean <laughs> but anyway we do go 1-0 down despite having the better chances at the start of the game and uh, I'm going to have to call Martin Tyler sweaty time Cheers, Martin. Uh, yeah, so Theo Walcott scores this sweaty goal. And what can you do? But it's okay, because Marouane Shamak gets us a goal just before half time, And that's our standing striker doing the business. Nice one. So I'm thinking, yes, we can fucking do this. And how wrong could I be? Because pretty early in the second half, he scores to make it 3-1. So I'm, I'm just a big, stupid bollocks. Uh, but sure, you all know that at this stage, if you've been watching my videos. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Bill Handel doing a nice bit of work here. And unfortunately, he couldn't put it away. And the rebound doesn't even fall to our player anyway. Anything. But uh, Martin Tyler is getting overworked in this episode, let's just say, because here we go again. Sweaty time. Cheers, Martin. Fucking hell. I'm getting fed up by hearing your voice because it's usually not good news for me. <laughs> but uh, he also scores another bollocks goal at the end of the game. So we lose 5 1, which is completely unjust in my opinion. But what can you do? Who cares? And it was at this stage ago, you know, fuck the Gold Cup. I'll win that some other time. And uh, we'll just go into Division 1. So here we go. We're using our hybrid team, you know, a few Russian League players, a few Brazilians, all that kind of stuff. And we come up against the. F my, I love coming up against teams like this. A pacey Bundesliga slash German team. Buckets of pace every. I love it. <laughs> Not? Uh, why are broke into Borat there? I have absolutely no idea. So apologies for that. But players like Marco Royce and all that just rip me a new arsehole every time I play against them. Uh, so, you know, believe it or not, I don't like getting new arseholes ripped into me. Uh, <laughs> but thank God your man didn't have s fine because we all know it's a well-known fact. s fine is an absolute monster and he just destroys me every time. But uh, once again, we start off the game very strong. But this happens then. Uh, Podolski just zooms away from David Luiz and gets a nice near post finish so well done to him for that nice finish but that angered me because I was stronger again you know at the start of the game making all the best chances and I think Adel Tarat could kind of sense how angry I was uh, he wasn't looking forward to the halftime team talk so he decided you know what, I'll just score a goal like I'm not in the mood for hair dryer treatment you know uh, <laughs> you know and when I say hair dryer treatment I actually do mean like I get like hairdressers in and I look after their hair at half time oh Jesus that that is the new low. That is the worst joke I've made so far. And I have made some terrible jokes in my time. But who gives a shite? Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. So we were able to break the deadlock for the second time in that game. So finishes one all. And, uh, you know, that's okay. I didn't lose the first game of Division 1. And I'm, usually, I'm pretty shit with this team. So to not lose is fine by me. Now, this guy's got an absolute puke jersey. He looks disgusting. But it doesn't matter because he's got s Fine and Royce. The two players I literally... Like, a minute and a half ago, I just said how much they ripped me to shreds. They ripped me a new arsehole. And s Fine's first touch in this game, what does he do? He hits the back of the bloody net. <laughs> it's beyond ridiculous. I can't handle that guy. Mother of Jesus. But uh, it doesn't matter because David Luiz cancels out their goal with, with a beautiful little volley from the edge of the box. And look at this angle I have for you. I'm sure your, ju your juice, your juice, no, your jizz is flowing everywhere. What the fuck? Uh, but anyway, that, that there is just a clip to show how lucky my opponents can be against me. Me. He takes a shit shot and bounces straight in the path of, for his player. You know, it's just bollocks. But uh, yeah, so that made me think, do you know what? I'm rubbish with this team. I think it might be time to sell them all 
buy one team of the week player every week and build a team around them. But the type of player I'd buy would be something a little bit different, you know. Uh, so not generally a player people buy. What, what, what do you think about that? Let me know. So every week I'll be able to keep it fresh because at, at this stage I'm fed up with this team already. It's nowhere near as fun as the Argentinian team. So I want to make it a bit more fun for myself, you know. But anyway, it finishes one all. Uh, so fucking hell. 2-1 all draws to start off Division 2. It could have been worse, let's be honest, but I had to have a little rest from FIFA after that because it was frustrating me just a little bit. Uh, so I did take a rest. I actually took a rest for like two days. <laughs> uh, and we come up against this guy. He's got a Premier League team. Pretty strong looking side with, uh, you know, Kone is just pretty good as well. Asaidi with a lovely pass. And Adel Tarap was like, just fling your body at it, you muppet. Uh, but Form, you know, picks it up pretty easy. I don't know what El Adel Tarap was doing there. And look at this bullshit. I was literally just talking about the bullshit that my opponents get, get against me. And then that happened. But uh, this game here was Aiden Mag in McGiddy's game. Look how lucky I was with that. I can't really complain, I suppose, because your man's goal was lucky. My goal was lucky it just kept bouncing for him but that was a lovely through ball from Suarez to uh, Darren Bend it has to be said so I've no problem with people scoring goals like that against me there but look at this I am just a plunker I should have scored it but I was going no I must show off and show people that I'm better than I really am because <laughs> that's what I do in my videos but anyway um, like I said this was Aiden McGeady's game and you know, desperate measures cost for call call for desperate scoopy turns, and that's what I did with McGeady. I was just doing scoop turns all over the shop. Uh, so yeah, but your man was unlucky here with Bakari Kone. He nearly scored a screamer there, so I think fuck he didn't. But that was a beautiful tackle from Bell Handa and Basufa straight into Adel Tarap. We win three two in the 89th minute. I'm bleeding delighted with that. It was an even enough even enough game as you can see there. But thank fuck we've got five points now. That's not too shabby. Uh, so that's it for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed if you have i love you uh, and enjoy just enjoy the rest of the day lads have a good one trinidad and tobago trinidad and tobago the greedy bastards <laughs>